Good morning, everyone. How are you doing on this beautiful, beautiful Monday, Monday morning? morning? Sunshine. Yes, far cry from what it was yesterday. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, guys, some things happened yesterday. <laughs> I got pulled over. Yeah, I got pulled over. Anyways, we weren't able to update all of the commercial stuff, so we're going to take this opportunity, since we can't get into our BMV, to get everything updated, to give you guys a 2021 lawn care trailer setup video. Ta -da! You guys been requesting this one, so that's exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to try something for the first time here in just one minute. The goal is to be able to put three mowers on that trailer. It's a 7 by 16 So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and start this lawn care trailer setup video. Let's get into it. So for any lawn care trailer setup video, you got to have a truck to pull it, right? So this is our 2016 Ford F-250 Super Duty. So after checking out the truck, let's check out the trailer. This is a 2019 Liberty utility trailer. It is seven feet wide, 16 foot long. You guys think we can get three mowers on this thing? So to make our lawn care trailer setup even better, we went ahead and installed the Equipment Defender racks all the way around this bad boy. You can use code SPENCER to save yourself 10%. The first piece of equipment we'll talk about on our lawn care trailer setup is our trimmers here. We have the Steel FS90R, we have the Steel FS94R TQ's trimmer, and we also have the Steel FS111RX. These are our go-to everyday trimmers. Basically, if we want to cut something thick, we're going to go with the 111. Everyday trimming, we're probably just going to grab the 94s or the 90s off of the trailer. All right, so on our trailer, we are rocking two steel BR800X blowers. And this one here, we actually just picked up from Schleyball just the other day. So on our lawn care trailer setup, to make the job easier every single day, putting this gate up and down, we went ahead and installed right here. We painted ours black. These are the Gorilla Lifts. There's one on each side. And it just makes this gate a lot easier to maneuver around. So on our trailer setup, we have the handheld rack here. This holds all of our pitchforks, rakes, all that good stuff. This is also available on the Equipment Defender. And it's super, super cheap, guys, and really convenient. Just look at how many tools we have right there in one location. And then down here, we have our sure can gas can. Super simple to fill up your equipment wherever you need to. You can come right up on the side of the trailer or carry these out onto the property. And it's just like pumping gas, guys. And with the Equipment Defender racks, just keep them locked right in place and your stuff's safe and protected. You can just go ahead and throw yourself a lock in there if you want to. We've never had anybody touch our gas cans. So this is our trimmer line holder. It's made by a company called Buyers. I'll put a link down to our Amazon store. You can pick it up. I believe it's like 15, 20 bucks. Really cheap, but it works, guys, and it'll hold your string and keep it out of the way. It's nice and secure. All right, so the main question is, which mowers are we gonna run for the 2021 lawn care season? Now, we do have multiple mowers and each mower has their own job, but these are gonna be the main mowers we're going to use for the mowing season. We're not quite sure if we're gonna make them fit, but let's check it out. Oh yeah, did I say that's three? Hey, 
And we even got three inches to spare back there, TQ. Come on in here, guys. Come on in here. Look at that. I think we can fit another mower in there. Look at that. So what's going to be on our trailer for everyday mowing? We're going to start right here with the brand spanking new 2021 Toro Grandstand Multiforce. This mower has the Kohler Command ECV749 EFI engine, the most fuel efficient engine I believe that's on any grandstand and what we prefer to use here at Spencer Lawn Care. So our next mower in our lineup is going to be the 2019 Toro Grandstand. This is not a multi-force. This is actually TQ's mower, but we do have the bagging system with it and the same exact engine as the multi-force does back here, the Kohler Command Pro. So our last mower for our everyday mowing route is going to be another 2021 Toro Grandstand Multi-Force. This, as you can see right now, has the mulch force on the front of it, but with a couple pins, you can take that off and get it out of the way, or you can go ahead and mow something real quick with it on it. Right now, we are in spring cleanup mode, so we're going to go ahead and leave it on there for right now. But this overall is going to be our setup, guys. Three grandstands, two multi-forces. We're going to keep on rocking it out. So yes, I got pulled over and I put it up on Instagram guys and it went absolutely crazy. Everybody's saying he got pulled over for being uh, overweight. Oh, he got pulled over for not having dot tags. Oh, he got pulled over for not having CDLs. Well guys, I'm not required to have any of that here in my state of Ohio. I wasn't overweight. I didn't even have a load in the trailer at the time. Uh, some people were saying, oh, it's because he didn't have his net, blah, blah, blah. It was none of that stuff, guys. Long story short, last September when we bought this trailer in Indiana, we came back. COVID was still very rampant, okay? So I went to the B&V to try to get my plate and my tag. They were closed. They weren't bringing anybody in. They really still at that point wasn't weren't doing much, you know? Uh, so long story short, I didn't have a tag. Well, I took it into the uh, fabricators. It was there for a month and a half and we got it back. And then we went through fall cleanups and then winter. And honestly, I just totally forgot about getting the plate and the tag. So I got pulled over for not having a plate and tag. The BMV is now open. So I'll have a video a little bit tomorrow at the beginning. You guys will see. I tried to go there once again this morning and the BMV is having issues. They're not able to get me my tags and plates. I actually have it recorded on camera, them telling me the system's down. So long story short, I couldn't chance working today. We couldn't go out and do, uh, you know, jobs because I didn't want a chance getting in trouble. Now we drove right down the road to the kids of school to get some of those quick shots for you guys. But uh, that was with the other trailer. So not a big deal. But as of right now, all of my stuff is pretty much dead because it's the end of the month. But the biggest issue was is I did not have a uh, plate and a tag on this trailer. Now, what you've seen him bending down there looking for was for my VIN, okay? I had my VIN number from on my insurance, which I pulled up on my phone. Well, I didn't have the VIN with me, paperwork with me, to show him the title uh, for the trailer. So he was bending down, basically checking my insurance VIN number uh, for that VIN that's under the trailer. So that's what he was doing. I didn't get it hit by a dot. None of that crazy stuff, guys. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. All right, guys. So that is our 2021 lawn care trailer setup. We hope you guys enjoyed it. And guess what? Just in time for Easter, we're getting our third egg now. Yeah, buddy. They're starting to produce. I'm so excited. I was actually surprised to see they laid today, though, because it was super cold. It got like down almost into the 20s last night here, yes. guys. But uh, yeah. 2021 who would you know have ever thought be excited for this what sean boy oh yeah every morning now he's like let's go check for eggs absolutely absolutely <laughs> so we hope you guys enjoyed this video as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys we'll talk to you later take you out peace bye